Fedora Linux 43 is the upcoming autumn release of Fedora, continuing its tradition of biannual updates and bringing a host of under-the-hood improvements, security enhancements, and user-facing refinements. General availability is scheduled for November 11th, 2025 at 1400 UTC, just over six months from now. This makes Fedora 43 a key milestone, as it will ship GNOME 49 with fresh desktop features, adopt RPM 6.0 for stronger package security, introduce system-wide Python 3.14, and pivot towards Wayland-only sessions for GNOME users. Below is a breakdown of what to expect. Introduction to Fedora 43 Fedora 43 is the next major Fedora Linux release, representing the culmination of months of development in the Rawhide branch. Its release date is set for November 11, 2025, aligning with Fedora's policy of shipping on the second Tuesday of the month in autumn. This version is significant because it will carry forward Fedora's commitment to innovation, shipping the latest GNOME shell, embracing new security paradigms, and streamlining the user experience. Key features, a sneak peek, enhanced performance. Apache Maven 4 arrives as a parallel installable package, enabling Java developers to leverage the latest build improvements and POM optimizations without disrupting existing workflows. DNF slash RPM copy on write leverages BTRF's reflinking to reduce IO and speed up package installations by deferring decompression costs, although it's not yet enabled by default. Reproducible builds efforts reach a new milestone. With infrastructure updates and policy changes, Fedora expects at least 99% of package builds to be bit-for-bit -bit reproducible. Security Boost RPM 6.0 enforces signature checking by default, supports multiple signatures per package, streamlines OpenPGP key handling, and lays groundwork for future package format upgrades, all aimed at thwarting supply chain attacks. KTLS for GNU TLS moves cryptographic work into the Linux kernel's TLS stack, accelerating secure network I.O. and reducing CPU overhead in encrypted communications. Python 3.14 becomes the system-wide default, bringing language performance improvements, new syntax features, and enhanced standard library modules to Fedora's Python ecosystem. GPG Verify improvements lift limitations in the GPG Verify wrapper, making source tarball verification more robust and reducing the need for manual workarounds. User experience. JPEG XL. Wallpapers replace PNG for the default background images cutting down file sizes while preserving visual fidelity and speeding up wallpaper load times. Deprecate Gold Linker encourages a shift away from the aging GNU Gold Linker towards LLVM's LLD or GNU BFD, simplifying maintenance and unifying debug link experiences. LastLog2 migration upgrades the legacy, LastLog utility to LastLog2, improving logging performance for login records and addressing long-standing edge case bugs. Under the hood, the tech talk, the new GNOME shell. Fedora 43 will ship GNOME 49, planned for September 2025, featuring streamlined settings panels, enhanced accessibility, and further refinements to GTK4 applications. Wayland-only GNOME. A Fedora change proposal aims to drop the GNOME X 11 session entirely, migrating users to a Wayland-only environment. This aligns with upstream Genome's deprecation of X11 in Genome 49 and accelerates maturity of the Wayland experience. The power of BTRFS. Fedora's default file system has been BTRFs for several releases, and a new BTRF special interest group has formed to advance snapshot tooling, bootable snapshots, and metadata performance enhancements. Additionally, DNF slash RPMCOW enablement taps BTRFs's reflink capability to optimize package operations. Modernize live media. The live USB environment is being modernized with new LiveC scripts and Dracoot features to support persistent overlays out of the box, simplifying live USB persistence setup for testers and admins. Infrastructure and tooling. Packet as a dist git CI and Koji using Red Hat Image Builder improve build pipeline consistency. Migrating to LastLog2 and dropping cert.pem streamline system-wide logging and certificate management. The Fedora community, a strong foundation.
Fedora 43's roadmap is driven by open change proposals on Fedora discussion, with dozens of system-wide and self-contained changes tracked via Git and Paygear. Contributors can propose features, participate in review meetings, and join special interest groups. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video! Peace out, everybody! And don't forget I'll be posting videos daily without missing any day. So don't forget to like my content, share my content on all social media platforms so we can build a larger Linux community and conquer the world with love. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my everyday content. Bye, have a wonderful day.